Should we say our magic word? Yes. Three. I think it's time for that. Wait, three, two, one. Shazam! Shazam. <laughs> I'm at the Seven Old Hard Rock in Tampa, Florida, and I tell you, maybe I'm just a cut for punishment. I'm at the Huff and Even More Puff Machine. I'm in the High Limit Room. And I have to tell you, when I was playing in Hollywood with Dalen, we played this three or four times, and we won a little bit each time. But since they've opened up here in Tampa, I've probably played this four or five times. I think I've only come out ahead once. So don't worry. I brought a good luck charm here. Check this out. Well, it's not really a rabbit's foot. It's one of those things that goes on top of a wireless mic. They call me a dead cat. I don't like that name. But come to think of it, I need a better good luck charm. You ready? Three, two, one. Dylan's back. And I'm back. <laughs> I get to, you know, the past bunch of videos, I've been saying, oh, Dylan's coming back soon. I know you've been busy, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to see if you're going to be my good luck on Huff and even more Puff. Got my fingers crossed. I have $1,000 in the machine, $10 per spin. Well, I'm going to reach over here and spin. You're going to tell us what you've been up to. Wait, do we have the winnability up? No, we don't. Oh, no. We need our winnability meter all the way to the max. <laughs> Last we left off. Oh, by the way, let me say. On this machine, three buzz saws, six hats. You can get randoms, meaning you can get a howling bonus. You can get uh, a random uh, tail bonus where it comes and rebuilds the screen and gives you enough to go in the bonus. Or if you get two buzz saws and a golden buzz saw, you jump up to the big super reel. Meantime, yes. last we left off, you were getting ready to go to Paris. Now you're back from that. How did I that am. trip go? It was so fun. I miss Paris. That was like one of my favorite trips. It was so beautiful there. Paris is now definitely one of my most favorite cities I've ever been to. Okay, now what did you do when you were there? Okay, so, well, the main reason I went there was to go see Montel Fish, my favorite singer ever. So I went to go to his concert. It was the most beautiful thing. It made was me it cry. Good? Was it worth the trip? It was. Uh, his oh. voice was like an angel. He, he made me cry. I was going to see if you said Montel. <laughs> Tell fish if we would get the and two bucks and the gold. Okay. <laughs> so that was amazing. That was like everything I could have dreamt it to be. Um, so I went and saw him one night and then we went to a museum. So I went to the Louvre. Um, the Louvre was incredible. I saw the Mona Lisa. Oh, really? Was it really crowded? The pictures I've seen people being oh. there bumper to bumper. <laughs> it was so crowded. I only like came into the room and it was like a sea of people around it. So I got like just in the back and I like looked at it from like a distance and I was like, okay, there's the Mona Lisa. And I was like, now we have to get out of this room because the room was like, it was like a concert packed in there. I was like, I don't like it. I get to leave. And the Mona Lisa is <laughs> a small painting. It is it's a small painting. Like, I mean, it's a third the size or half the size of Huff and even more Puff. Yeah, no, it's tiny. It's not anything really big, so, but it's the Mona Lisa, so everyone came to see it. And, yeah. And also, well, I went to watch it now. You had some wonderful model photo shoots while you were you. there. Oh, thank you. I tried to get as many pictures as I possibly could get oh, in. look at this. <laughs> we have two of them. I'd say model photo shoot. We get two of boxes for $90. A $90 win. Okay, so that's the start. We're still $100 down here. Let's hope we don't go too much up. further than that. I'm okay. feeling it. Let's go through some of the photos. Can we start with the one that is my favorite photo? <laughs> I think it's of my top three photos that you have Aww. ever taken. Tell me about this one. Is it okay? Can I put them on screen? Oh, yeah, you can okay. put them on screen. Uh, so that was the brown outfit. That's IMGia, like my favorite company. Shout out to Alana. So um, that was taken at, I think it's called, ooh, the Rue de, Rue de la Par. I think that is the location of where it is. And it's like With this, the Eiffel Tower behind yes, it. Yes, it's like this little street view, and then they have the Eiffel Tower peeking out through the, the hall. It's so beautiful. It is amazing for photos, but I went a little bit back away from where all the influencers are taking their pictures to have it more like where you could see it in the distance. So now, it was a challenge. Lot, I know you mentioned that until we got home, that when you go to Paris and see the Eiffel Tower or other landmarks like the Louvre, I'm not saying that right, the Louvre. The Louvre, yes. When, <laughs> when you see if there's influencers abound, they have their phones trying to get Instagram photos. It's... <laughs> How oh, it's the Influencers a Olympics out there. <laughs> yeah, the Instagram Olympics. It is. Everyone's out there trying to take their best photo and get the right angle. But it was a little challenge because I was trying not to get people in my photos. So I had to like go kind of a distance away from everybody and try to get it on a different angle. But 
it ended up working out, which was good. It was a little well, trial and error. I think you nailed it. And I got to take it's on, what's on the screen. You tell us what you think. Let me tell you what I you. like about it. Your facial expression is just, you're so calm and yeah, warm smile. and every because you have a lot of different looks yes you know and that one i looked at that when you sent it to me while you're out there and i go wow this is great now my second favorite one <laughs> and I'm, I'm not sure what to call it which the one black eye picture oh the one at the graveyard oh sorry. yes I, what you went to a graveyard i went to a graveyard to go see mr jim morrison the oh, legend the from the doors yeah i had to go see his grave because he was buried in Paris and I've always wanted to see that because I've been a fan of like the doors since I was like 11 so I've been wanting to see that for like a decade so <laughs> is that a big tourist attraction yes many people go there to go see him and just walk around the graveyard because the graveyard is just beautiful it's got a, like a really creepy little vibe it's like vampire so it's like really cool it has an amazing architecture on the graves it's not like a graveyard that you would see in America so yeah yeah it's so it's well kept and yes and um, the architecture like you can tell it's like old French it's it's beautiful it is okay so now you've seen my top two pictures what was your favorite picture oh my favorite picture okay my favorite picture was from Versailles so that's with like the painting on the ceiling and then I'm wearing like the kind of brocade top so it's like the what, old what color top is that? it's like a blue and cream color not the lime green no it's okay. like it's the one that looks like it looks like Marie Antoinette would wear it because it's the style of like the old royal and it has like the blue and the floral but that's the one with all of the painting behind me and the chandelier <laughs> that photo was the hardest picture to get of my entire trip now tell me why <laughs> what made it so difficult okay so first things first i tried pulling out my flash camera to take a picture mm -hmm. They yelled at me so we have much. Tape measures for 18. Sorry oh. about that. Okay, we're coming. Yeah, we are playing slots. I know, I know. I'm like, what are we doing over here? But it's more fun talking to you. <laughs> that photo was okay. So the you worst. were talking about you were going to pull out your flash camera. I tried to pull out my flash camera. I took like two pictures. They came running over to me. They were like, no flash photography, no pictures. And I was like, oh no, I'm not going to get a picture here. And I was like, I have to shoot a picture for this company. I was like, what am I going to do? <laughs> So then I waited, I sat around, and I was like, maybe I can try to get a picture over here. They were on me, they were staring at me from every angle. I was like, well, I'm not getting a picture today. So I took my phone out, tried to take a photo. The lighting was the worst lighting ever. Really? Yes, so then I was like- But you are the master in post-production. You so really are. So then I are. had to have my mom go over and like hold my phone down below and like have it as low as possible in the window and like on a certain angle and she was like my tripod and then I clicked off and self-timed it and then boom, that was the picture. <laughs> it was a challenge. <laughs> I got to wait, you know, anyway, I love looking at your photos. And, Thank you. And, you know, here, this is our first stop today at Tampa. We're going to play, oh, five or six different slot machines. I, we have a lot of different stories to tell. Yes, we do. I, 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 don't, I want to keep it, you know, one theme for each video. Yes. Now, in Paris, concert, photos, what were your other noteworthy things you did there? Well, I went to go to Versailles to see Marie Antoinette's home because I love Marie Antoinette. So that was amazing. Her home was absolutely gorgeous. Um, so we went to Versailles one day. And what else did we go do? We went to the graveyard, we went to the Louvre, we went to the concert. Uh, Eiffel Tower twice for the light show at night when they do like was the whole, nice? the sparkles. Yes, that was amazing. We like timed it perfectly too. It was so hard because it goes off like every hour. We showed up like five minutes before it went off, like ran out of the taxi, ran into the road to go see it. It was beautiful. And that way to say, you were there with your mom. This yes, was, yes. This was a mother daughter trip. Yeah, yeah, my mom and I had a great time. And now, you know, you are a well-heeled traveler. You've been all <laughs> around the world. Did you feel safe in Paris? I did feel safe in Paris. I feel like everybody just kind of like kept to themselves. So it felt very like safe. No one was like getting in my little personal bubble. So that was nice. Everyone was really respectful. Like, so that was nice. It was good. I did feel safe. You know, I'm not sure if I feel safe with huffing even more puff. I we know. are, you know, a little bit over seven hundred and fifty dollars in the machine. We, you know, other than some, you know, mediocre line page, we haven't had one bonus. So I know. Should we say our magic word? Yes. Three, I think it's time for that. With three, two, one. Shazam! Shazam. Come on. Nope. Uh.
Okay, four Close. hats. Remember, six. Come on, Michelle. Right. Six hats, three buzz saws. If that third buzz saw is a gold one, that's even better. <laughs> right now, we, we, know, we haven't had a howling bonus. I know. We haven't had a random tail bonus. Where are our bonuses? And again, you know, you and I, are, 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 you know, we're talking about this on the drive over. My theory on playing slots is that you have to stake yourself Ooh. enough to have a minimum of 100 spends. Yes. So if you're playing a dollar, you need a hundred dollars. We're paying ten dollars. We staked it with a thousand. And you know, just with. Oh, here we go! See, we talked about the the ten times. Oh, Yay. look at that! We have a full Yay. screen of executive <laughs> Jiggy. And oh, this is good. And guess what? I'm not going to tell you the number yet. You can see it over there. But we escaped that pesky hand pay. Oh, no nice. hand pay tax on this. Okay. <laughs> Boy, I tell you, folks good at piggies. We yeah. like that. Yeah. So, I love when the wolf comes up. He does a little howl. I miss that. And you know, Aww. another thing I've done since we've been away, when I get in bonus, like, you know, a little play hike in August moon, when we get to the point and it's paying off, I'm not going ahead. I'm just enjoying and savoring the moment. Because this That's is the why way to we do play. it. And it gives my finger a rest from trying to do this. <laughs> that was $1,080, just a reminder, 10 cent Yay. denomination. $10 bit. I don't know if I properly introduced you the way you popped in. This is Dalen. <laughs> Dalen's Hello. on Instagram. We have links in the description. You see your you see your little your little logo thing, the bug on the screen. Yes. Check our Instagram. Okay, we're 1214. We've been playing. Let's see here. I got to hit the camera. Sorry. Camera will move just a bit. We're playing about 12 minutes or so. Let's let's do let's take let's do let's take this down to 1100. Okay. Now we walk away with uh you know, a $100 win. That's good. And that's the other thing we that, take our wins. that I've been doing recently <laughs> since we have been playing a while. Instead of going for the brass room, when I get above water on here, especially when I'm down and come back up, I've been very happy even with a small win. And 10%, you know, the way I like to say it, I call my broker and I say, okay, I'm going to give you an investment. I want to make 10% in 12 minutes. Can you do that? He's going to laugh at me and hang up the phone. <laughs> but guess what? Five more spins and we know we'll have made a minimum of 10%. That's good. And let's see if we can get just a little bit more. But you know, you notice what I'm saying about these new machines that they, you're not getting bonuses as frequently. Okay, two more spins. Okay, one more, one more. Oh, I was hoping that was me to go. Okay, last chance for romance. Here Come we go. On. Come on. Okay, this is Sorry, just our first stop here. We still have a lot more to go. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, uh, should we play Hank next? Yes, okay. I miss and Hank. And August Moon. We got yes. more stop play to go anyway. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and all that fun stuff. Don't forget to follow Dalen on Instagram. <laughs> I almost forgot to say that. Anyway, that's it for now. For Dalen, I'm the Gadget Guru Andy Parr. Thank you for watching. Bye, guys.